Hi, my name is Thomas Heine. I'm the Sales and Market Manager for EC Upgrades here with EBM Pest in Melbourne. Hello, my name is Hassan. I work as a Sales and Application Engineer, EC Upgrades at EBM Pest here in our Melbourne office. So EC Upgrades, you know, we are upgrading fans all over Australia and, and even though you know, we're focusing on uh, a lot of our time on, on HUs and, and air conditioning, there's, there's literally no fan you can't upgrade. So there's a lot of upgrades happening also in, in the supermarket space, in refrigeration chillers, cooling towers, uh, fan call units for commercial uh, spaces and, and offices. Today's episode though, we dedicate to air handling units and two main problems we see in those systems uh, happening again and again, how, how we address them. One is being uh, the size of the fans, as well as the, uh, the availability of replacement parts. So I'll, I'm gonna talk about those two issues and then Hassan will explain a little bit more uh, and go into the details how we fix these issues with, you know, by the use of using those EC plug fans that you can see behind me. So, what are those two problems with existing air handling unit fans? So first of all is the sheer size and the risk associated to, those, uh, to that size. So when you look at this example here, uh, that, that motor is not even going to fit through the door. So how, how are you going to fix these fans? How are you going to replace them when they come up for replacement? Uh, it also takes a long time to repair or fix them when, when, when something breaks. The other problem you're going to have is uh, and that can happen and it's not, not re relevant or not related to size. It uh, depends on uh, availability of spare parts and cost of spare parts. So whether that equipment is imported or it might be quite old, there's a wait time and lead time associated with replacing these fans and sometimes they can be very costly. So we're now going to have a see what uh, Hassan's going to tell us about, you know, the fix and how we can actually replace these fan systems relatively easy and cost effective. And at the same time, you know, fix some of the issues uh, that we that we might have with those old systems like performance or efficiency problems. So here's a solution to our problem, a backward curve EC plug fan. They come in various sizes. The smallest one we have here is a 355 mil plug fan, that's a 450 mil plug fan, that's a 500 mil plug fan, and that's a 560 mil plug fan. Now they can cater to any size or any airflow and pressure, and we can they can configure it into any fan grid. That's how a typical fan grid with multiple 500 mil plug fans look like. The black one here is called a KTL model. They are essentially designed for pool specification or where humidity is a concern. So why use plug fans? Why use EC plug fans? Well, they're robust, they're compact, they have, uh, they're energy efficient, they have ability to interface with the existing BMS, they have built-in VSDs, they are firewood capable, which essentially means you just need to plug in a bridge to connections and put a fixed speed. So how can we help you? We can help you in design phase, we can help you with in selection phase and we can help you doing your uh, return on investment. So we learned today uh, about the two main, main, main issues with existing belt driven fan systems and AHUs in Australia. Um, we heard from Hassan, you know, how we can overcome, how we can solve those issues by using EC plug fans in, in fan grid installations. I hope you enjoyed that episode, you learned something and uh, please you know, leave your comment underneath. We appreciate your feedback and, uh, and also get in touch you know, if, you, if you have any questions, if you have any, any upgrades you want to do, uh, get in touch with us. Um, look, looking forward to working with you and thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.